onto the last section of the show. Is it a cruise, is it a bucket list, or is it a sporting event? For me, this is a bucket list sporting event, or sporting event and bucket list. Actually, a bit of both, to be fair. This comes from the guys and girls at Hology, the four and five star holiday experts, and this is the first time I've seen something like this. This is an absolute corker. So this starts with flying in to Doha. Where's Doha? It's Qatar. Um, it was the home of the, the World Cup last year. Was it? No, it was this year. And um, what's going on there? It's the Grand Prix. They hosted it in 2022, and due to the World Cup, they didn't have it last year, um, but it's for this year. And with this, you're going to be spending four nights in Doha, where you're going to go see the Grand Prix. Um, you get your tickets included, so you can get three days worth of Grand Prix. Doha looked absolutely fantastic, um, amazing skyscrapers, buildings, restaurants. They spent absolutely fortunes in turning it into a tourist destination. Um, and then after that, you're going to fly over to the Maldives. When you get to the Maldives, you're going to have seven nights. In, at the co uh, all inclusive at the five star Coco Palm Duni Kulu. Uh, once you arrive in the Mali International Airport, they're going to fly you private on the private seaplane over to the accommodation. Uh, the hotel has a luxury spa, includes a jacuzzi pool and five ambient rooms that host treatments by inspired by ancient Indonesian um, techniques. A fully equipped gym, yoga pavilion, there's pe perfect for diving, snorkeling. And there's a weekly cinema night when the big screen goes up. There's a playground, on-site laundry, tennis court, games room, and plenty of water sports. When you go out to the Maldives, that's what you're after. The all-inclusive includes buffet breakfast, buffet lunch, and buffet dinner, selected cocktails, a selection of beers, soft drinks, alcoholic drinks, including wine, mini bar, selected water sports, and complimentary use of the snorkeling equipment. So um, the price also includes return non-stop flights, 25 kilograms of whole baggage, return private transfers in Qatar. So when you get over to Qatar, they're going to take you to the airport. To get to the track, it's literally jumping a taxi. Taxis are super cheap in Qatar. Four nights, five-star room only in Qatar. Three-day F1 Grand Prix stand seat, return seaplane transfers in the Maldives, and seven nights, five-star beach villa. Deposit is only £350 a person. You can upgrade in the Maldives to a sunset beach villa from only £200 per person per week, a deluxe villa with splash pool for £200 per person per week, or lagoon villa for £750 per person per week. At the moment, there is a special offering where you are getting a free upgrade to all inclusive in the Maldives. So how much is this once in a lifetime holiday gonna cost you? It's both going on the 5th of October. You can fly from Gatwick, Heathrow, Birmingham, Manchester or Edinburgh, and the leading price from Gatwick is only 2599 per person. A week in the Maldives is more than 2600 pound, all inclusive. Unbelievable, Jeff, as I would say. I can't say it soon, because he's leaving Sky Sports. So give Hology a call, numbers on the screen, like it, share it, Facebook, give me some insights, subscribe, hit that button and enable notifications to get the best travel deals in the marketplace.